Are you wondering how to study difficult subjects effectively online? In this video, we are going to cover the simple methods that I personally use to study online, get it done as effectively as face-to-face -face learning, overcome distraction along the way, and achieve maximum understanding which is very useful for exams, well, and for my future of course. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Hasbullah. I am a senior lecturer working in Malaysia in the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. As a lecturer, I have been studying mechanical engineering subjects since the past 15 years. During my PhD stint in Imperial College London, since all I do at school is research, I was forced to study online for theoretical background. Now, I'm not talking about learning skills online such as programming skills or playing instruments. I'm talking about hardcore engineering theories, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, solid mechanics, advanced maths, basically subjects that are usually thought face to face. Now, there are a lot of people out there telling you how to study, but the problem is these are hard to master subjects even during face-to-face -face teaching and learning. Now that most of us are forced to study online due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it is absolutely critical that you have the necessary know-how on how to understand these subjects even without face-to-face -face teaching and learning. And right now, I'm going to give you just that, the simple methods that I use to understand and master those subjects just by studying online. Say your lecturer made a tutorial video for you to watch. Instead of watching it with full attention at first, I would usually go through them at twice the speed to catch the outline. Take out a notepad to write something because engineering subjects usually involve equations and mathematical problems. And to do this properly, you need to write it down. After the first round is done, this is when you would watch the video again with full attention. Remember that for online learning, the responsibility to learn falls a lot on the student's side. If there is something that you do not understand, it is your responsibility to use whatever means necessary to find out about it. It is no longer your lecturer's responsibility to make you understand. Unlike face-to-face -face learning, he or she is simply isn't there. So pause the video and take notes whenever necessary and if you come across unfamiliar terms, be sure to pause and google for the definition, then go back to the video and resume the lesson. Since learning online means sitting down staring at your computer screen with no one to respond to, it is a struggle to focus all the time. Engineering subjects could be quite dry at times, so it is not easy to be excited all the time. Therefore, set a 30 minute stopwatch and promise yourself that you will focus throughout those 30 minutes. For face-to-face -face teaching and learning, I found that 50 minutes is the longest time that I can keep an adult student to focus in my class. Then they need to take a break. So for online learning, I think 30 minutes should be enough. Tell yourself that you'll earn a well-deserved break after sitting for 30 minutes in front of your computer. Find yourself a space to isolate yourself from other activities. Just move a little away from others. Move a little away from your televisions or a dining table. This does not mean that you should have a dedicated beautiful study desk completed with RGB desktop just to study. Just pick a random place that is away from distraction to set up your study space. It could be on a desk and it could be on the floor. Having a pretty desk and sitting there every time you study could get pretty boring. So try and mix it up a little. Just avoid studying on your bed. It would also help if you have a good pair of headphones. This creates your own little world while you are studying online. A noise cancelling headphone would mean that you could study anywhere even in noisy spaces while still maintaining your focus. However, these are quite expensive. Still, the point is to find somewhere that you could just be alone for 30 minutes. Communicate with your spouse or your parents about this and I'm sure they will understand. For me, the biggest distraction for online learning, quite the irony, is the internet itself. Especially when using generic platforms such as YouTube to look at your lecturer's tutorial, there are many video suggestions on the sites that are very tempting. Not to mention that your mobile phone is actively vibrating because you've set it to silent with the intention to eliminate the distraction in the first place. When you are studying difficult subject that you really don't like, even the slightest distraction can pull your focus away so you could end up not studying at all. First of all, put your phone in a total silence mode, meaning not even vibration and put it face down somewhere away from your desk. 
Then dedicate yourself to the 30 minutes window that I mentioned earlier. Sometime while going through the tutorial videos, you need to access more information on another website. It is absolutely okay to open another tabs on your browser. However, you have to remember that this is when it is most likely that you would open another site just to procrastinate. So do your best to keep yourself distraction free within those 30 minutes window. If you are studying through videos and having difficulties understand it, leave a comment for your lecturer. Of course, you won't get the answer straight away but the act of asking questions would keep your mind engaged for a little longer. Perhaps someone else that understood it saw your message and helped. So not only that you are getting your answer but you can also focus longer. One of the problems about learning online is loneliness. Indeed, there is no one there to push you through certain videos or tutorials. So a little interaction between colleagues could give the boost that you need to finish it. Ideally, keep the communication within the platform so that you do not have to reach for your phone to see the messages because this could only lead to longer procrastination. There you go guys, 5 tips to study online especially for tough engineering subjects. These came from my own experience studying engineering for the past 15 years. Even as an academic now, very often I still take online courses for subjects that I am interested in. Remember that this could very well be our new norm if you are now studying at college or university. Therefore, take the time to implement the methods that you learn in this video and practice it during your study. Engineering subjects particularly focus on understanding rather than memorization. However, some of the methods could still be useful even though your subject require heavy memorization. Do let me know if you need study advices on memorization as well. If you find this video useful, do consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos about life as an academic, engineering tutorials, life advices and general study advices like this. So you may just learn something. Please stay safe and keep studying to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.